you on speaker. Hey guys, it's me, Al, but you can call me Ian. I'm doing a project on the human HVAC system. Would you guys mind telling me about it? Well, hi, Ian. We'd love to. So basically, an HVAC system is the technology used to ensure human comfort in indoor and vehicular spaces. The system controls temperature, humidity, and ventilation in order to maintain a comfortable space with healthy and clean air. There are several different kinds, sizes, and it's used in all different kinds of properties and buildings. Without it, the air inside buildings would become, could become stale, humid, too hot, or even too cold. So in the human world, it's pretty important. But HVAC, what does it stand for? Well, Ian, HVAC stands for heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. The H in HVAC stands for heating. The most popular heating system is forced air furnace systems. Heat can also be transferred through a building by radiators, hot water coils, and other heat extractors. The use of water for heat transfer is known as hydronics. The V in HVAC stands for ventilation. Ventilation is replacing air as well as circulation of air to provide indoor air quality. This involves temperature control and removal of moisture, odors, smoke, and other contaminants. Natural ventilation systems are very energy saving, but take more effort to satisfy comfort. Important part of ventilation is air change per hour. Too high of air change could be seen as bad with a wind tunnel. For human comfort, for changes per hour is typically best. For busy crowded places such as bars or nightclubs, highest air change rate is good. Lastly, AC in an HVAC system is air conditioning which provides humidity and cooling control throughout the area. Heat can be removed through radiation, convection, and conduction. The refrigeration cycle uses four main elements. Compressor pumps refrigerate gas up to a high pressure and temperature, then enters the heat exchanger where it loses energy, heat, making it turn into a liquid phase. Expansion valve regulates the refrigerant liquid at a steady, proper rate. The refrigerant liquid is then put into a heat extractor called the evaporator. Heat is absorbed from indoors transferred to outdoors, resulting in cooling of the building. Does that help you, Ian? Yeah, thanks. That helps a lot. You guys are way better than the last planet. Bye. Great. Bye, Bye. Ian.